Now, the man responsible for building the Olympic venue says the government will have to put up more money to pay for the facilities because of the economic downturn. Several hundred million pounds was due to come from the private sector, but the current financial situation means that money, that money cannot be raised. Our Olympic correspondent, Adrian Warner, reports. 2012 bosses have to adopt the Magnus Magnuson approach to life. We've started, so we'll finish. With a recession on the way, many building projects are being shelved. But with a fixed deadline, this one has to speed on. And the mastermind of the construction has admitted to us that more public money is going to be needed to pay the bills this year. The government has uh, funded us with 100 million of cash at the moment for the village. Um, it's um, likely that we will need um, some more cash to be going to keep that village going. Uh, the government knows that, understands that, uh, and that money will be made available. In the meantime, we'll carry on the negotiations with the private sector to bring in private sector money. The changes to this piece of East London have been dramatic in the last two years. This is how the Stratford site used to look, a run-down industrial estate. Now it's looking more and more like an Olympic theatre by the day. But one senior Olympic official has told us privately that the £9.3 billion budget is being dismantled as fast as this pylon. It may not be enough. Right in front of us through here is where the, uh, the 100 metres will be run. But John Armit disputes this. The Olympic glass is always half full for him. It will be tough to raise the millions of pounds of private cash that 2012 had originally planned. But he says the extra public money will help the economy during the imminent 2009 recession. The way to ensure the best value for money here is to keep going with the designs that we have and to build what we have as quickly as we can. We're spending money here in a way which ensures jobs for people and ensures business for thousands of businesses across the UK. There's no doubt that this stadium will change even more dramatically in the next 12 months, but 2009 will also see plenty more questions about the funding of the Games. Adrian Warner, BBC London News.